Happening today, a silent protest on the New Haven Green. Members of the city's most vulnerable population are setting up tents, hoping to send a message to community leaders. I don't know what they're going to do about it, but they need to do something about it because this right here, what you see, is just the tip of the iceberg. James Bellamy is referring to the latest encampment to pop up on the New Haven Green. Occupants started gathering Monday, hoping to bring awareness to a problem they say continues to plague the city's unhoused community. There just aren't enough affordable units. People can have vouchers that expire before they find a place to stay. Right now, there are more than 20 tents here on the New Haven Green. Occupants say that they provide shelters for those in need, but they also say that encampments like these typically don't last long. We're saying stop sweeping people from encampments, leave them where they are, and then we're asking the city to designate land that can be used for people to camp out. Another solution organizers are calling for is to have tiny houses built. Tammy Varney says she remains without a place to call home one year after the death of her husband. It costs us $12,000 to build one with the appliances and everything which is less than an apartment a year. According to Mayor Justin Elliker, work is being done to accommodate those in need. We put $1.7 million in our general fund towards supporting uh, the unhoused uh, this year, and that's a significant increase from last year. We just purchased a hotel, and uh, that is up and running with almost 100 people that are staying in that hotel. The city of New Haven also currently offers low-income housing in various communities, but some argue those units continue to be out of reach. Each apartment, a one-bedroom, $2,600, $3,000. Now, for the average person that's making 15 to $20 an hour, how could you pay that? 